Hello everybody, we are so glad that you are joining us. You just heard me share some awesome things about what our campus is doing, what God is doing. And so you're joining a video that we took earlier today and we wanted to share it with you. So we got a lot to talk about in these next 10 or 15 minutes, right yeah, Bill? Yeah, lots, lots. Amy? Yes. All right, so um, we're gonna start off by just sharing a story with you. Cause you know, stories matter people matter and so i have a story to share with you you guys know what just happened this past weekend we launched our fifth service all right we have five experiences now and if you missed this past weekend maybe because it was winter break last week you guys went on vacation listen you missed a treat we had an amazing time five services now the lineup is 8 30 a.m 10 o'clock uh, 1130 11 and then the same two in the evening 4 and 530 so you have five opportunities to come to join us same five experiences here's the story I went home uh, about three weeks ago when we first learned that we were gonna launch the five experiences at our campus and it was a big big deal our entire staff talked about it and we celebrated I went home at dinner I shared it with my kids and Bill Amy you know what my kids said I, it was amazing. I told them, I was like, Dad's got to um, go to the church. We're going to have five services now. And in my mind, I'm thinking, man, they're going to be sad because Dad has to be gone for another extra hour or two. You know what my kids actually said? What, what did they say? My kids said, yay, Life Church is having a baby. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I'm glad they said Life Church is having a baby <laughs> and not me and my wife because <laughs> we are done. But um, I hope my wife's not watching this because <laughs> the jury's still out on that. But no, you can seriously. stay at my house. Okay, all right. <laughs> my, my kids were so excited, so amazed. Life Church just had a baby. We have five services. Of course, that's a metaphor, and it re really just means growth is happening. God is doing amazing things. And the reason why is because of people like you, like us, we serve together. This is our operations team community. And so that's why we wanted to do this. We've canceled our team gatherings um, twice because of the snow. We just had snow last night. So if we would have tried to do this in person, maybe we would have canceled again. So we're leveraging technology and everybody that's joining us, we're so glad that you're here. Um, new service just launched, growth is happening, and we want to share our campus word for the year 2019 with you. Our campus pastor, Christina, has challenged us and is leading us in an amazing way, and the campus word that she has given all of us is... Run! Run. <laughs> Bill's doing it right now. <laughs> It gotta is, run. It is the word run. It's, it comes from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, and it says, Lay aside every weight, every sin, any and everything that just easily entangles or trips you up. And then it says, Run the race. Run what God has put in front of you. And so that is what the charge is for our entire campus. We are running. God opened up the door for us to start a fifth experience. Um, more and more volunteers are showing up and joining all of our teams here on our campus and so we want you to know that run running is important and we want you to run with us yes. because yes. it's not fun I don't know about you running alone running alone is no good no not it's good. not fun okay. you so, just see me do it I, I didn't like it. <laughs> right that's why we didn't do it with him you know right, right. so run is our campus word and you know what else we have an operations team word to connect with that because we are a team of, of details, team of next steps. We help people take those next steps in serving God and serving here at this church. And so our word is maximize. maximize. We want to maximize every single gift, talent, skill that all of us have and use it for God's kingdom, use it to um, improve to, to increase um, life change that's happening here at this campus and so we want you to know that it's it's our challenge to you we're challenged to maximize and I know that this year 
for I don't know if it started out as a great year for you guys, but I know one thing: we are almost in the year in the, in the month of March. Time is flying by, and we really, really have to maximize because as people walk into the doors, as they have an opportunity to raise their hand and give their lives to Christ, we want to be in place, ready for them to take their next steps, whatever those next steps are. We have a lot to talk about today. We're going to tell you about some upcoming events. We're going to share some awesome gifts that, that are coming all of your way, swags, stuff. What does swag stand for? Stuff we all get yes. stuff we all get yes stuff we all get so um and it's free too by the way so we got a lot to talk about but um, i just shared with you some amazing things that's going on in our campus and we want you to know that you are a part of those things before we continue i just want to pray um, i'm glad that you're joining us you're on facebook even though we're here and you're there, we're still together in community. And so we're gonna pray right now for all of our Ops team volunteers and all of the people that are gonna be joining us this Sunday. So God, thank you for what we get to do. Thank you that we launched this fifth service. We saw 39 people come to know you as Lord and Savior. They committed their lives to you. Thank you for that life change and the opportunity that we get to help them take their next steps. We know that you're gonna to continue to help Help us to run and maximize and do all that you have called us to do. And it's in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So speaking of the word run and our word maximize, I want you to know that we care about your spiritual health. Your spiritual health matters, and we're encouraging you to ask God if you don't already have a word ask him what a, what word does he want you to focus on what area of your life he really wants you to give attention to I know I have done that my word is freedom for this year Bill door door, door. keep walking through doors that's my that's my word Amy reclaim that's all right my word. all right so we encourage you to have a word and you know what how about if you know your word already Write it right now in the comments below as you're watching this. Everybody start chiming in. Let's engage with each other and encourage each other because your spiritual health matters. All right, so what we wanna do now is we wanna talk about our operations team. So you guys know we're the operations team, right? We, everybody knows this is operations, Every, right? Okay, good, good. But what you may not know is there are seven different teams within the operations team. So we're, we're a team of many, right? And we're actually gonna talk about nine different areas, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna really go into each one of the teams and I'm gonna embarrass a couple of our awesome volunteer leaders because I'm gonna highlight your name and say some awesome things that you are doing. So um, here is an easy way to remember the seven operations team. It's the acronym FACE APP, F-A-C-E-A-P-P, -P. FACE APP. Easy enough, right? FACE APP. All right. Face app. So let's go through the teams and let's talk about who we are as an operations ministry. The F in Face App stands for the finance facilities. Finance facilities? Is it financial facilities? I think it's the facilities team. Facilities. I think we have another word for finance. Yeah. So it's our facilities team. And you know what? I am going to give a shout out to people like Bob Wilson. Darius Brown, and you know what? They serve, they do so much on our facilities team. Darius is one of our newest facilities guys. Bob's been around for a long time. He probably knows this building in and out. He does so much with baptism setup, um, open door setup, you name it. So I wanted to celebrate and highlight them. You know who else is also serving on our facilities team? You may not recognize them, but they serve every Sunday and they wear black shirts, they're a little undercover, they might look a little mean, you know, and they might have a little, you know, bulge right here because, you know, yep, they're packing, and it is our volunteer safety team. They keep us safe, and we are so appreciative of them, and the, the, the volunteer leader for that team is Nick Monroe. So when we talk about facilities, we're talking about people like Bob, Darius, Nick, and all of the other amazing volunteers that serve with them on the facilities team. So 
I don't have to go into any more details. You guys know what facilities are, but hey, that's our awesome facility scene. All right, let's keep it moving. The A, the first A in Face App, stands for none other than my girl right here, at, not Amy, but the admin team. Amy does so much. She serves almost every single day here at our campus during the week. And you know what? There's so many things that go on behind the scenes that has Amy's fingerprints on it. You know what? I'm gonna let her tell you all of the opportunities to serve on the admin team. Yeah, we got our awesome data entry volunteers that serve super diligently every single Sunday and they're just so detail oriented and they know that every detail matters because every person matters and they're doing an excellent job with that. And then we have our amazing follow-up team um, which is reaching out to people every single week um, to make sure that all of our new visitors feel super welcome here and all of the people that are committing their life to Christ every single week are just getting connected with and making sure yep. that they can be mentored if they need to and that they know what the next step is in their walk with Christ. And then we have our amazing office volunteers that mm -hmm. come in throughout the week. Um, they're doing just amazing things like setting up the lobby here. Yeah. They're doing all of um, some stuff behind the scenes, making sure everything's running smoothly. Um, we have people sending letters to um, our first time givers and just making sure that all of those little details behind the scenes are really being connected with and that we're bringing excellence to the team and um, they're just they're just amazing and I could not do what I do without you guys yeah so Amy's a rock star all of you are rock stars Amy just this week I mean it was like Monday Tuesday we had we have a little area in the office where our admin um, operation team volunteers serve, yeah. and it was like it was packed. It was packed. Yeah, we were stealing <laughs> chairs from the, <laughs> the other staff. Yeah, That's Bill, crazy. you were That's here right. too. Yeah, I was here for yeah. a little bit. Right. I saw it too. Yeah. yeah. So, and then on Tuesday we had a brand new volunteer. She just went through orientation. Went through orientation on what was Sunday. Her name? Sherry. Sherry. Yeah. Yes. All right, Sherry. Yes. Woo. So, right. Um, so awesome admin team. So face app. That's the FDA. The C, C is next, right? C. Creative media. Now, you know what? There are all kinds of ways to be creative, but this particular team is creative in just about all of those ways. They are super amazing with videography, with photography. If you don't subscribe to our Life Church um, um, Facebook page or Instagram, you really, really need to, and you need to be sharing what our, our creative media team is putting out there because it is really legit content. People are engaging and communities are being formed. In this day and age that we live in, where are people living? They're spending right. most of their time. Where you need to be. Yeah. They're on their on phones, their phone. on social media. Hold and on, so, I gotta check. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I know. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's right. So our creative media team is led by none other than Abby Brown. You guys know Pastor Bo, our switch pastor. Well, Abby is amazing. She leads that team, and so many of those volunteers have been serving for so long, doing so much. And so we thank you for what you do, creative media team. E. 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 Events. Events, team. events team. Yes, yes. Yeah. our events team. And you guys know we have a lot of events here. And every single time we have an event, it is because we want to welcome a new person or give them an opportunity to experience the life change that we know that God offers. So it's time to highlight none other than Jordan Page and Danielle Wilson because when we talk about events, we're talking about open door and baptism. Yes. And yes. those two amazing leaders help coordinate and schedule those events. So when you're getting those texts and those emails and those reminders, they're there because they care about those two events because people are being are welcome to our church through Open Door and people are taking an amazing next step of spiritual growth and faith through baptism. And so our events team is awesome. All right. All right. So that's the face. Now we're on the app, the APP. So the second A is accounting, accounting, not finance. Yes. But accounting, that's right. They have yeah. to count the money. Mm -hmm. And those teams are led by none other than Nikki Tonic. She's on our morning crew along with the Snyders, Danielle and Rob and, um, and, and Nick Desso. And then our evening crew, we have Justin and Joel and Andy and um, Penny and just amazing people that just serve every single week helping people who are being generous and obeying God and following that step 
Um, it's an amazing team, so our accounting team. All right, we got two P's. Two P's. Two, two P's. Two P's. All right, two. let's do the first one. We got product sales. We product got product sales. sales, and that is none other than led by our Mike Page. Woo. He is a rock star. Mike, you do so much. Thank you for that. We just had product sales earlier in February, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Yes, a couple weeks ago. the book, just a couple of weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. We yep. just had uh, Pastor Craig's From This Day Forward. You know he's doing an amazing series called Relationship Goals. Well, Mike and his team during product sales basically sold out wow. before the 530 experience. Yeah. Man. That was amazing. That's so great. Mike, you and your team, thank you for what you guys do. And you all know when we do product sales, we don't have high exorbitant costs. And the reason for that is we want to get resources like Life Church swag, books, you name it, into the hands of people so that God can transform their hearts and their lives and also so that they can invite other people. And so thank you, product sales team. Thank you, Mike. And the last P. Last P. Last P. Last P. It prayer is team. the prayer, prayer team. team. The most important team. It is the most important team. It's almost like the internal organs of the church. They are mm -hmm. praying. They are behind the scenes. You may not know who they are, but they are incredible because there are people that are seeking God, that need God's help, and they're like, hey, I need prayer. And so we have an, a prayer team that's ready for them. Mm -hmm. And they're led by two amazing leaders. Bethany Hicks and Gail Brown. And you know what? Gail right now is in Florida. She's basting in the sun right now, lucky, right? Lucky. Yes. Yeah. She's what you call a snowbird. It gets cold up here, she goes down south, but she's still serving and leading on our prayer team and along with uh, Bethany Hicks. So we're thankful for that team and all that they do. Now, those are our main seven operations teams, seven. Mm -hmm. but we still have two additional teams that we wanna highlight right now. So one of them, I'm gonna highlight my man right here, Bill, because he's on that team and it is our orientation team. So Bill, tell them about that. Yeah, so we're so excited, my wife Sue and I, to be a part of the orientation team. And we just uh, welcomed Katie. She just came to orientation a couple of weeks ago and is gonna start helping us. So that we can have two opportunities for folks to take part in orientation for the ops team. One will be in the morning with Katie and then every other week Sue and I are going to do an afternoon orientation. So, and that's all about people finding out where they fit in. You know, before Pastor, quote, uh, Pastor Travis quoted <laughs> from Hebrews and he talked about the race that we run. Do you know that in the Greek that when it talks about the race you run, it's an individual race. We all have our own race that we run we run and what Sue and I love to do is is talk to people and find out where God is having them run and put their feet on that path so they go in that direction so we're so very excited about that so glad glad to be a part of that team so thank you so much Man. and Katie thank you yes yes that's an amazing team because people are taking their next steps on the ops team so last but not least our ninth team that we added and basically feel like it needs its own area, it's our social media team. We talked about creative media, so social media is connected to creative media, but because people are living, like I said earlier, their lives on social media, we have an amazing opportunity to leverage that technology, leverage that opportunity for us um, reaching people. So social media people, Abby, and our newest are Gianna Vazi, who's only 19, y'all. She That's is cool. young, That's she's great. vibrant, she's excited and passionate. So um, uh, Gianna, thank you for what you do. As well as Angelica, Angelica, thank you for what you do. You help keep our strategy for social media sharp. So, that's a mouthful. Yeah. That's nine. a lot of operation nine teams, teams, nine, nine. teams. Wow. And you know what? There are teams even within those teams that we just don't have time to highlight, but you know who you are. We are so appreciative. And right now, Amy, how many people are serving in ops? Yeah, we're, right now we have 139 people wow. on our ops team. Wow, 139. That, there's some churches that don't have 139 people. Exactly. And, and so that's so crazy. And so we're so thankful for all 139 of you. And we're so appreciative of you taking the time to serve God in the ops team. Many times behind the scenes, so people aren't seeing you, but the effects of what you're doing 
is reaching whole generations and whole communities with the love of God. And so we're so thankful and appreciative for you that we've decided we're going to do some swag giveaways. And what oh, does swag yeah. stand for? Stuff, stuff we, we all, all get. get. So we're going to start with stuff that everyone's going to get. See this cool bottle? Don't know if you can hear that. It's aluminum. It's going to say on here, Life Church Operations Team. And every oh, one of you, yeah. all 139, you're going to be getting these. We'll have them available. Keep people on hydrated, a Sunday. Right? Yeah, keep yes. it. It's got a little carry handle here so you can carry it oh, around. Man. But then also, tonight, during this whole time when you're watching this, we're going to do some drawings and we're going to give some stuff away. What are we going to give away? Some, some t shirts. Some, what are these called again? Shooties. Shooties. Not a shouldn't he, but a shoody. I don't know. First time I ever heard about this. A, a shirt and a hoodie together. A shirt and a hoodie together. Yes, right. A shoody, not a shouldn't he. And then zipper hoodie. And then we're going to give away some of these really cool oh, yeah. Ops red yes. hoodies, okay, yeah. that were ordered for the coordinators. But so many of you want them. We're going to give some of these away. We're going to give away some Kazone books. We're going to give away some Pastor Craig Daily Power books. We're going to give away some Pastor Craig and Amy yeah. Rochelle from This Day Forward books. Why? Because we appreciate you yes. and everything that you do. We want to encourage you to continue to invite. You know, take a look at this. This reminds me of, yeah. the, of the jars in the stores around Easter that have all the jelly beans in them. And they, and they want you to guess how many are in it. Well, we don't have to guess. When it gets all the way filled, 10,000 are going to be in there. And why is that important? Because each of these balls represent mm -hmm. a person whose life is being changed. Mm -hmm. So Man. thank you for doing that. Thank Man. you for inviting. Thank you for serving. We appreciate you so much. That's, that's awesome. And what could they do to invite, Bill? So we have these really cool cards. See? Times are on it. That might be out of focus. I don't care. So take these, hand them out. You know, one of, the, one of the things that we do when we're at a restaurant is we'll just leave it. Another thing we'll do is we'll ask the waiter or the waitress when they've taken our order and before they walk away, we'll say, hey, when, when we get our food, we're going to pray for it. Is there anything we can pray for you about? And it begins a, a dialogue or a conversation. Mm. And then I you like leave that. this behind and then they might end up coming to church. Another great thing is during worship, Get out your phone, go Facebook Live, get some engagement on that, and as people are engaging on it, invite them to church. Leverage, leverage social media and engage with people because each of these balls represent a person whose life can be changed just by walking through the doors here. So right. thank you so much for everything that you do for, he, for us here at Life Church. That's right. Invites matter. That's, that's true. It's sort of all for every person you invite. Not only do invites matter, you, you matter, and we have some amazing events that are coming up. Yep. Amy, you want to tell them about it? Yep, we have four events coming up for you guys. We have Cazone coming up next Friday, March 7th, so just a week from tomorrow, we got that coming up. Then we have baptisms coming up on Sunday, March 31st. We're going to have yep. baptisms at all five yes, experiences, five experiences, five experiences yeah. of baptisms. And then we have Easter coming up on April 24th, and on... April 30th, yep, Tuesday, right April 30th, yep. we have Open Door to take all of those amazing invites that we have from Easter and all of these other invites and make sure that they feel welcome and that they're part of um, our church and, and can feel like they are at home here that's with right. us. That's right. That's right. So that's just four events. There's so many other opportunities that you can connect and get involved in here at Life Church Albany. And so as the operations team, Myself, Bill, Amy, I mean, we love you, we thank appreciate you, you and um, we can't do this alone. And because we can't do this alone, I want to show you something. Bill, can you, can you get that? I so can, we can get show that. show them something. This Sunday, we have something amazing that we want you to see. So just come and follow me, all right? Some of you may or may not know that in the month of March, there's a, a, there's a big basketball tournament, and it's called March Madness. It's all kinds of big time um, college teams, they, they play in this tournament to compete to win one trophy, all right? Well, we know that trophies are amazing, but the best trophy is someone giving their heart and their life to God. And how you can get involved in that is with our Life Church March Madness, all right? It's Life Church's style of March Madness. Starting this Sunday, we are competing. Yeah, we like to compete. So we're competing with all of the other ministries. Now here, we are one team, one dream, but when we compete, 
compete, we do it because we're like trying to spur each other on. Remember, run is our word. So when you're running, if somebody's running faster than you, you're like, no, you're not going to beat me, right? So that's what this is all about. So look here, this Sunday, operations is going against life groups, all right? That is Pastor Mike Lane, and we are taking him down, okay? This is, this is what we can do together. You guys, and including myself, we need to um, invite people to take a next step to serve. There are people that are gonna be here for the first time or they've been here for the hundredth time and they have not taken a step to serve. Well, what better way than to get them to serve starting this Sunday? All you gotta do is just encourage them to fill out a serving card, check operations. They can go on their app and select operations as where they wanna serve. And you know who they're gonna see? They're gonna see Bill and Sue and Katie through the orientation process and they're gonna get them plugged in and serving right where God wants them to be. So we need as many people signed up this Sunday for operations so we can knock life groups out, all right? Now we want life groups to do a good job too, but we at least wanna have one more than them because that's all it takes for us to go to the next round. The following Sunday will be against Life Kids. That's gonna be a tough matchup, but we gotta just focus on this Sunday, all right? We can't wait to see you there. So guys, come on, come on around, come on around, all right? How do we always end things? Whoever finds God, finds, finds life. life.